All right, so I put in some time today to get the new Iron Banner bow. This is the brand new ritual or pinnacle weapon. I guess it's a ritual, not a pinnacle. Point of the Stag. Now this one has some interesting rolls, and I'm going to talk about these rolls and see if maybe they interest you. But I'm going to warn you right now, it is a bow. <laughs> Bows are pretty average. Uh, Le Monarch with the bleed can be interesting. There's definitely some potential with Trinity Ghoul in PvE, but bows are not great. In a lot of situations, they're not great. And, uh, and unfortunately, <laughs> no cool combination of perks is really going to change that. Uh, I'm going to show some footage of this bow. You can definitely pop off of this bow. Frostbolt, I'm sure, is going to do a video where he gets seven kills with it. He's going to get a seventh column with the bow. It is possible. You can definitely slay out. Uh, I just don't think I can recommend a bow at any moment in time. So if you came here really quickly, is this bow amazing? I'm going to just tell you no right now. I'm going to tell you, you don't even need to watch the rest of the video because I'm just going to kind of, kind of shit all over it and I'm going to save you some time. But if you're curious why I think I have such a big problem with bows and why I think that point of the stag is just average at best, I've got a little trick for you in the middle. So you'll see, you'll see, you'll see. Um, so Vorpal Weapon, definitely interesting because you can do bonus damage to people in supers. Um, you know, you can use this for PvE. It's kind of interesting. Vorpal Weapon plus Archer's Tempo. Uh, you could maybe use this against a boss for some definite decent DPS. I'm probably not going to go test that out because I don't like using bows. But, uh, you know, Vorpal Weapon and Archer's Tempo is definitely a solid combination that I've never really seen. This is probably going to be one of the better boss DPS weapons if, uh, if you're looking at bows because... This combination doesn't really exist, so definitely try that out. Maybe you'll love it. But the big one here for PvP is Eye of the Storm. Now, Eye of the Storm actually benefits your accuracy by quite a bit, and it also reduces your flinch, uh, from what I can tell. And so while playing with this, you can, like, hip fire and be deadly accurate. So if you're in a duel and someone weakens you, Eye of the Storm will proc, and you can just shoot him in the head. Don't even have to ADS, really. Um, I'm wondering if maybe on mouse and keyboard that's a little bit different than on console. And maybe on console, bows are a little bit better. But, um, you know, this was kind of what I was running the majority of the day. No distractions, I don't love doing because you got to ADS so much. And uh, honestly, on PC, you can kind of just hip fire these bows. But there it is. There's the bow. So let's look at some footage and let's talk about this really quickly. So before I talk about the bow, I want to talk about getting the bow. Uh, is it difficult? How long does it take? Uh, I think it took us about two hours, two and a half, maybe. Uh, I was running with a very stacked team, and we kind of just ran everyone over. And so for uh, part of the Iron Banner quest where you needed to have matches completed, that sped that up. But if we were going for kills, we were all competing for kills and super kills, and those were some things that delayed us as well. It takes about 15 game completions, and if you can get all the kills done like I did uh, in that time, then you're golden. So match completion probably is one of the times that is going to take the longest, uh, but super kills can be frustrating if everyone else is stealing them or if you are having a tough time finishing people off. There's SMG kills, hand cannon kills, fusion rifle kills, and uh, I think maybe one more, but it wasn't terrible. We finished it off, as I said, in about two and a half hours. You could probably do it faster, and honestly, I'd recommend just queuing solo. If you think that you can carry and slay out and get a bunch of kills and you're not going to be competing with a bunch of good players in your lobby, then um, you might want to try that. You might want to try that. Uh, it might be faster, honestly, playing as a solo player also for finding games. We had a very tough time finding games running as a six stack, and once we dropped into a five stack or below, it was much easier. But that's just something to think about if you are going for this bow. Now, let's talk about the bow. The draw time on it is average, nothing exciting. The damage on it is average, nothing exciting. And the perks on it are definitely interesting, allowing you to hip fire accurately or do a little bit of extra damage to a super. But I'm going to tell you that getting this bow, unless you're a collector, isn't going to change your life. Bows are fundamentally very weak in this sandbox and in Destiny as a whole. Any lane you could be peeking with a bow, you could be peeking with a sniper. I understand that a sniper takes special ammo, but I honestly feel that bows are a handicap to many players' playstyles because they peek as if they have a sniper, and they lane as if they have a sniper, and they can't get that quick one-shot kill. 
People can disengage very, very easily from bows. So even if you tag them in the face, there's a very good t uh, chance that they can uh, dawn blade dash away, they can hunter dodge away, or they have time to throw up a titan wall or simply just walk away. If you're laning with this and no one is there to help you, there's a very good chance, unless you're doing some sort of Lucky Pants, uh, Ariana's Vow bow combo, which is kind of crutchy, the bow on its own is going to be lackluster. You're not going to pop off with this thing unless all of the stars align or you are the best player in the game. I'm telling you this because I know that most people that play Destiny are not the best players in the game, and they are not Frostbolt, or Potato, or Panda, or the best players in PvP. Now that's fine. If you want to just lane and do a little bit of extra damage, you know, tag someone at a distance, be a support player. Sure. But there's probably better bows for that even still. Even a Subtle Calamity might be a better bow for you with Archer's Tempo and something like Rampage on it because maybe you can do a little bit of extra damage. Uh, the L Le Monarch Exotic is probably a better bow as well. And so when you look at this, uh, it's really hard to recommend bows, period, but especially recommend this one. Even the utility you gain from this bow and the perks that are on it they don't do enough. It's not like you've got this cool swashbuckler melee bow where you can one-tap someone if you melee someone, you know? There's no cool synergy that is going to set this thing apart and make it amazing. The only thing I could possibly think of is with the Archer's Tempo and Vorpal Weapon, maybe you could destroy a super at a distance. But if you're out in the open trying to take out a super, <laughs> chances are they're going to close the gap on you and murder them. Now, I end up killing a Stormcaller in this video, but I, I, I probably could have done it with someone else because he wasn't even looking at me. I know, I'm getting some kills here, I'm getting some assists here. I understand that the bow could do this, but anything I'm doing, I could have done with another weapon in these situations. In these ranges, I probably could have done the same thing with a hand cannon. I definitely could have with the hard light or the Soros regime and probably been more valuable for the majority of the game. There are going to be a lot of situations where you get handcuffed because you're using a bow. There's going to be multiple situations where you miss a shot and get punished because you're using a bow. And I just have to say that a hundred times to really drive it home. Now, the other thing is the meta. The meta is very auto rifle focused, and there's a couple that will punish you pretty hard for using a bow like this. Hard light is going to give you extra flinch if you're fighting them. And uh, if you miss a shot, it's over. The other thing is Suros Regime is also super popular. And so if you pop out and you hit him with the first one and he's spinning up on you, there's a very good chance he's going to melt you before you can even uh, loose that next arrow. And so between this thing being average and bows being average and the meta, there's just not a lot of reasons to use this. I think you're putting yourself at a disadvantage. If you love bows, you want to use bows, go for it. Absolutely hunt it down. It's really not that tough to get. So if you want to get a new bow, if you want to have it just in case they, they buff bows, I definitely recommend doing it. But there's one final thing that I want to mention. I'm not even using that bow in this footage. I haven't been using it for the past couple minutes. And uh, you wouldn't have known that if I didn't mention it because all the bows look the same and feel the same and don't really change. And there's not much that makes them awesome. And it you might as well use any random legendary bow you find. Because if I didn't say anything, you probably would have went the entire rest of this video and had no idea that I just jabated you. I could have done it earlier. I actually, uh, maybe I should throw in a couple clips earlier. I got my point across, but, you know, put in the time, maybe they buff it, maybe it'll be good. It's really not that bad, and you can get some pinnacle drops for trials if you end up playing Iron Banner. So, I guess that's worth it, right? That's, that's, that's worth the effort. You'll get it done naturally while finishing up those bounties. And then, you know, you have a little trophy to say, hey, look at me. I played Iron Banner and I got all this done and I'm a higher level now and that feels good. So that's it. Point of the stag, the Iron Banner bow, isn't this one. See, you, you got baited again. This is hush again. You, you don't care about this thing because it's a piece of poop. <sighs> Point of the stag. It's fine. Put in the time so you can have a trophy, and then forget about it in your vault for nine years. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed, and if you guys are interested in an amazing drink to get you through your day, M-Tash Mango Splash. 
Now, if M-Tash Mega Splash is sold out, which it might be because it's going fast, there is a bunch of other great focus flavors. This is the energy you need. There's the uh, Mr. Fruit Cherry Limeade, okay? There's the Crack Korean Apple. They're all great flavors. Advanced.gg slash M-Tash. Use code M-Tash for 10% off at checkout. Thanks again. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.